Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to design and animate this beautiful infographic using PowerPoint. So let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and format the background with two step linear gradient. Change the direction and stop colors with different shades of grey color. Let's move the vertical guide 3 units towards left and that will be the point where we are going to start our infographic design. Next go to insert tab and draw top corner rounded rectangle. Make it completely rounded and adjust the size. Remove its outline and then format this shape with two step linear gradient. Change the stop colors using eyedropper tool. The stop colors will be different shades of any bright color. Also change the gradient direction to linear right. Next go to insert tab and draw a circle holding down shift key and align it over rectangle shape as shown. Remove its outline and format it with same two step linear gradient. Select both the shapes and group them together. And next we are going to divide this entire 180 degree space into 5 different sections. So for that let's open the calculator and divide 180 by 5. So we will get 36 degrees for each segments. Now duplicate this group of shapes using Ctrl plus D and rotate it by 36 degrees. and place it along the vertical and horizontal guides as shown. Next continue to duplicate this group of shapes using Ctrl plus D and place each duplicate group at an angle of 36 degrees as shown. We need to increase the angle of rotation by 36 degrees every time. Also we can make use of flip vertical feature to speed up the process. Next select all the shapes holding down control key and ungroup them. Apply outer shadow effect and reduce the transparency to 50%. Let's quickly change the gradient colors of each shape using eyedropper tool. Let's speed up to save time. Next go to insert tab and draw a circle shape through center holding down control and shift keys. Format it with same gradient pattern as that of background and change the direction. 
Also format its outline with same two step linear gradient and make sure both the gradients are in opposite direction. Finally, apply outer shadow effect to give it a 3D effect. Let's add all the text fields and PNG icons onto our design. Let's speed up to save time. So here is the final preview of design. Next we will continue with the animation portion. So let's first enable the animation pane that is prerequisite for any animation process. Now select the center circle shape, its text and PNG icons and then apply zoom animation. For text and PNG icon, set the delay by 0.25 seconds and that will create the ripple effect between all these three objects. Next select first rounded rectangle shape, apply wipe animation and increase the duration by 0.75 seconds. Next select the circle shape, apply zoom animation and start it after previous. Next select first set of text and PNG icons, apply zoom animation and start them after previous. Let's preview the animation once. That looks perfect. Next continue to apply similar set of animations to similar set of shapes. Only thing is we may have to change the direction of wipe animation as per the direction of rectangle shapes. We can also make use of animation painter to copy the animation properties from any previous similar shape.
so here is the final preview hope you all liked it please don't forget to like share and comment thanks for watching and stay tuned